Hi, this is Quant Namat. Welcome to my channel. Uh, so we have really good news from uh, Trading News. So now you can create alerts on uh, strategies in PineScript. And this is really exciting because I spent many, many hours uh, tr uh, transforming uh, strategies into studies to create alerts. And sometimes it's very, very tricky to do that. So it's really good news. And now let's go to uh, Trading News. I will show you how this stuff works. So here I have strategy already applied to my chart. And to create alert on it, you can go to your strategy tester and click uh, this icon here on the bottom. Or you can go to your in your status window, click these three buttons and create a new alert. Or you can go to your alert section and create new alert, select your uh, strategy name. And that's it. Basically, uh, you kind of uh, you can create now alert for the strategy. And as you can see, you don't have the here selection of, you know, different type of orders or something. So basically how it works. So every time when new order is filled in your strategy, you'll receive this alert alert and there is no way to kind of change that. But unfortunately, you can customize your um, your message uh, based on uh, some placeholders you can use for your strategy. So now let's go to my code and here I just summarized what uh, new placeholders you have uh, to customize your 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 alerts, your alert message basically. So um, first of all, you have position size. So basically, um, what, what is your current uh, position now? And this is the same basically variable you have in PineScript to, uh, to check your position. Also, you, you can check what was the, the last uh, order uh, order action. Was it a buy or sell? Uh, also, you can check uh, last order, how many uh, contracts it traded. And uh, also, you can check what price um, your order was filled on. Also, you can get ID of your order. So basically, here I have the first, uh, like uh, your argument in your strategy entry function. This is your ID. So basically, you can get it in your alert. Also, you can get your comment as well. So this here it is. This is just another parameter in our strategy entry function. And um, also you can get a new kind of a parameter alert message. So uh, here it is. Uh, it's new in version four of Pinescape. I don't think it will work in earlier ver versions. Um, also, um, you can uh, get your current market position after your last uh, order was executed. And also you can get your market position size. Uh, you can get previous market position. So basically before uh, this order was executed and previous market position size. So not much, but actually it uh, kind of can allow you to create pretty interesting alerts. Now let's, so I already created here this alert. It, it works uh, for now and let's go and see how uh, this uh, messages looks like. So as you can see, it seems to work pretty well. We have position size, we have like action, everything is filled and this seems uh, to work pretty good. And uh, I think like the nicest part of it is uh, probably this alert message kind of um, alert message parameter. So basically what you can do if you, if you use, I don't, uh, if you use like out of view or if you use um, um, three comma, for example, what you can do, you can uh, for every order, you can put your code of your uh, message you need to pass to your tool. You can uh, put it here and actually you can call it and with one basically alert, you can automate one strategy in your tool. So it uh, seems quite nice. Probably in one of the future videos, I will show you how you can uh, do that. So I think that's quite a nice um, uh, feature in uh, TradingView. I expect them to enrich the bit with new features. For example, it will be nice if you can create uh, different alerts for different orders. But even now, I think it's it's great that you don't need to, transfer, to translate all your strategies to studies. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you.